previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Powell. Only, uh, oh. uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest, no way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone, probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it too. I knew what Romeo planned to do, but still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him, and it was... Slow. It takes a strong person to survive all that. Seeing that happen to your friend and what Romeo did to you. Surviving doesn't feel like enough now. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that... Biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could live well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying. So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. Oh, sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go. Going. Ah! Oh. Thanks. Dismantling the tower. 
I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Do, do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. for me because because i'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state-of-the-art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home what what happened to it i'm so sorry i can only imagine if i saw beacon town like this save your pity Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal. It's okay. Are you guys okay? Nurm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um, it made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nurm ain't no. Come on, pal. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, we're gonna see Luna again. You should hang on to that blanket and give it to her when we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look! At... This... My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <gasps> wow. Come on, guys, be nice. I'm being as nice as I possibly can. No, no, you're right. Sorry, Jesse. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your, your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. Don't lose hope, okay? We can still do this. 
if you help us. I doubt that. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it and get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Come on, Zara, if you built it once, you can build it again. You're the best inventor in the... underneath. Probably the only inventor now. Even better? I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place is needed. Run on ahead! Never say no to a little gunpowder. Here we come! Thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. 
You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <clears throat> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. Come on, come on. Just gotta get some leverage. No deal! Yeah, well, that's disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. Well, this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. Basic order of things. 